Testing, testing. Are you ready? Is Spencer ready? We've lost our live crowd. (laughs) We need that, like, um, sitcom laughter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're good. Is the canned laughter ready or? (laughs) Yo, yo, yo. (laughs) Welcome to another live and direct 56k records little chit chat. (laughs) I hope you're as comfortable as we are. (laughs) I'm here with the lovely, talented Yang. How are you, Yang? I'm pretty good. How are you? How's your orange? It's getting there. It's a bit tough. It's a bit difficult to peel, hey? It's got a thick. A thick layer. <laughs> um, what did you do last night? Uh, I had work at the corner dump. Did you finish early? Did you get a good sleep? Finished around one thirty. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But it's um, not too bad. I tried to get a good sleep last night, but my housemates went out and they got home so late, and yeah. <laughs> I feel like I just I was right or die with them in the night. Didn't really have a choice. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a bit of a weapon, this thing, isn't it? It's just so in your face. <laughs> So, there's a lot to know, there's a lot to know about you. You've been very busy this last year. Have, I? <laughs> Have you? Have I? I guess. We're up to August. It's gone pretty quick. Yeah, this year has gone pretty quick. It's been weird. Yeah. Weird, exciting. Yeah. So if we wind way back, maybe to the start of the year, when um, I think this is probably about time. You guys, because you're always part of a band called Coffee. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about them? I kind of joined the band probably two years ago, I think. How'd you guys meet? So I met um, Jared, the vibes player at uni, and they went to high school together. Um, and then they... You went to high school together or they went to high school they together? They went to high school together, yeah. and then I met Jared at uni. Um, and they got a gig at Strawberry, and so they kind of wanted to fatten up the band, so they... Um, invited me and Finn Maurice, the keys player. This is a couple of years ago, isn't it? Two years ago, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I remember seeing you guys on the on the lineup. It was that yeah. was a that was a good lineup that year. Yeah. It was yeah. like uh, CC Disco. Yeah, Soichi Tarada. Soichi Tarada. I I actually. <laughs> <laughs> I sent off a few questions to Soichi Tarada the other day, actually. Oh really? Yeah, talking about that exact that exact set. Um, Amazing. What was cool out? Some was there that year. Yeah. Yeah. Remy? Remy? Just a few local legends, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was really fun. Yeah? Um, but yeah, they were... Was that your first gig? No. no w- oh, we had maybe like two or three gigs before then, as a band. Um, and then... <laughs> yeah. um, and then I, I think I was only meant to stay for the Strawberry. And then I guess I kind of loved the sound, the fatter just, sound. Just hung around. Yeah, just kind of yeah. hung around. The bad smell, they just sort of... Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we just kept going. Yeah. So who else is in the band? Do you want to give them a little little shout out? Um, so we've got Sam Hunt on the drums. Shout out, Sam. Uh, Campbell Mowat on bass. Um, Harry Leggett on guitar. Finn Reese on keys. Jared Gibson on vibes. And that's me. <laughs> on saxophone. The yeah. old Lisa Simpson special, the saxophone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you guys put out a few singles this year? Yeah. We put out two singles. That was that was early this year as well, hey. Yeah, around yeah. May. Oh, you could. I'm just not doing well. Can we call in a play, Spencer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some tissues. Yeah. Yeah. I'm making a real. B- Look at the little. <laughs> I mean, we, c- we can't get a zoom in on that, but that's. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of looks a little bit like a sex toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We recently got one of my friends a flashlight for his birthday. Oh, really? It kind of looks the same. It's wigging me out. <laughs> <laughs> True. I've never seen one in person. It's tasty though. Okay. Um, back to your music, <laughs> not the sex toys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you had a couple. Was it two? Was it one release or was it two separate singles? Uh, one release. True. And, yeah. A side and a B side. And they were just released, released independently. Yeah. And then, I guess you guys, because you guys were very, like, super busy at the study. I just remember you guys were on, like, lineups left, right and centre. I presume it was just playing for those singles, getting yeah. them out there. Yeah. I yeah. think we, we organised quite a few gigs just to sort of keep the momentum going. Yeah, definitely. And get the word out there, I guess. 
Made a lot of gigs with, with these guys over here. Yeah. You know, Chicken Wishbone crew. Shout out Chicken Wishbone. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you guys got you guys have done quite a bit of stuff with 56k. Hey. Yeah. 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 Um, some stuff. Some stuff. That's some yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully more in the future. Yeah. Definitely. Always more in the future. Uh, have you? I was going to say, do you guys have anything coming up? But there's a few people away at the moment, isn't there? Yeah. Well, they've just returned now, and we played our first gig. Yes. No, I was yesterday. working yesterday, the yeah. day before, um, oh, nice. at the retreat with Beatnik. Oh, Beatnik Collective, yeah. true. Um, so that was pretty fun. And then, yeah, Good I think crowd. we're starting to get back into gigs and stuff. Yeah. Do you think you're sort of leading into summer, going to build it up a little bit? Hopefully, trying to, see yeah. see what we can manage. Squeeze in, in amongst everything else. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Um, any new music or anything coming soon, or...? Um, Any little exclusives? Mm, not yet, but hopefully we start recording soon. It's just, it's really hard to like, I guess, coordinate times. Yeah, especially with so many people and, and everyone's, everyone's so got busy. their own thing going on. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, where were, if these guys were away, where, where have they been? Um, well, Finn yeah. just got off like a double, like a back-to-back tour. He toured with um, 3070 in Europe. And then Amazing. With El Shimada Collective in Japan. True. Did see El Shimada. They played with um, played a few shows with Sunnyside, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. Other local Melbourne boys. Actually, that's a Man with a Van shout out. I know Mackenzie in that band. An old Man with a Van yeah. hustler. Um, yeah, they played. I know Sunnyside played Fuji Rock. Did El Shimada yeah. play? Um, did it? They just played yeah. a few shows like um, side shows. And yeah, double double headline. Where yeah. I where was it? There was a lot of shows in um, Tokyo. Um, what's the What's the main district there? Um, I don't want to butcher the name. But the Kyoto, they were all over the place, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, that would have been. Um, and then, so that was that was Finn just joining those cr- those guys yeah. over there. And then Sam is just on a holiday. In yeah. Europe, just living. Uh, just living the dream. Yeah. Pretty much. I feel like everyone's doing that at the moment. Everyone's just yeah. bouncing over to Europe. But I think everyone's coming back soon for uni and stuff, which is... Yeah, well, this is... I had to come back a few weeks ago, and I feel like it was... Uh, I was coming back at peak summertime over there. It was sort of just starting to hit, like... I think London had their heat wave. Yeah. And then I got back here, and I think it was hailing when I got off the plane. <laughs> nice change. Yeah, I just nice old welcome back into Melbourne, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what else have you got going on? There's been... um. Also started up kitchen events yeah. at the start of the year. Yeah. How's that been going? Yeah, it's been fun. It's just like a little side project, I guess. Yeah. Just kind of put on Who's gigs in, yeah. with like friends and... Who's involved with that? Um, so I do that with Margie. Yep. Who's um, lovely house yeah, abode lovely we house currently abode. currently reside in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just me and her. Just kind of putting on gigs that, I guess, just whatever we feel like, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just friends, supporting friends with friends. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's how it should be, the little community. Yeah. Um, so you guys had something in Section 8, was it maybe yeah. a few, was it a few weeks ago, a month weeks ago? ago? Yeah. yeah. Um, just, just that kid Maz was playing, yeah. he looked Big live. Kid. He's, that kid's coming, watch out for that kid yeah, Maz. He's, that looked, that looked so sick. And the crowd as well was just Yeah, they got so intense. into it. Yeah. God, I love Section 8, just like being able to have... I guess like the, the retreat as well as we like that just having like those just playing on the sand I know you just like every every gig I've ever seen there you just feel like you're part of the show yeah definitely yeah it's great it's a good vibe you guys got anything else coming up for that? Um, for kitchen for kitchen yeah um, we've got one on August 25th um, at the retreat with Sextant Manifesto Nicodemus Live Band and Conquer sick so that, that's like an afternoon kind of jazzy vibe yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's a bit sunny as well. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that's the plan. It's going to be... It's outdoors, isn't it, no? Um, It'll be inside, but okay. the, they do have a beer garden, so... Make beer garden, jazz, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> it would be perfect, actually. Nice, that's nice, nice. Um, and then... I'm trying to think what else... What was this kitchen done recently? Because I saw... That's right. It was... Um, you guys had a show with Gabe and... K-Roy... That's what I wanted to ask you. K 
characters, yeah, um, Finn, and his, and he brought, like, his live show. Mm. Was that through Kitchen? With Gabe and K-Roy. Yeah, like, um, Gabriel, what's your... I, I've booked them separately, but not... Oh, it wasn't on the same bill. Yeah. True. I think I booked K-Roy for a, um, gig at the Ev with Big Nick and Coffee. That might have, that must have been it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's, he's putting out some cool stuff at the, yeah. at the moment as well. I think he had yeah. a record launch last week. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I find it super interesting that you guys can... You're putting on, like, these... It's like, goes between jazz and hip-hop, and then, like, k brings, like, his, like, disco housey yeah. tech... Like, even, like, yeah. eclectic techno stuff as well, which is, yeah. like, super, super interesting. And I feel like... It's kind of a great cross-section of, like, Melbourne's music scene at the moment mm. as well. Which is yeah, I guess it's just, like... I kind of just wanted to put on gigs not specific to one genre or one specific mm. thing. What's a genre? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Um, so it's good to just have a broad range of mm. apps on the bill. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's actually that sort of... I was listening to it in the car on the way over here, actually, that new Charles Peterson, oh, whole sunny side up thing. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts about that? Just, yeah, the musicianship on that mm. um, is just amazing. I mean, like, what a sh- what a show for Melbourne, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I was just thinking about this. Like, what when was the last time Australia had like a music culture that has been that can that actually resonates with the rest of the world and has it's got its own sound yeah. and like Australia's just like being pub rock for so long. Yeah. And to all of a sudden have someone come in and actually say this is a se- certain sound that's like mm-hmm. developed its from its own little like culture within Melbourne I think that's so cool yeah there's definitely a big crossover happening between Melbourne music and like just everything that's going on in London with like everyone Absolutely. like 3070 going over there is this part of the are they over in London for the Brown like for Browns who are doing the is that for that uh, record because I saw that like um is a Ziggy Ziggy like, like Harashi Luna and stuff are over there at the moment playing yeah. gigs as well yeah I'm not sure if it's specifically... It's just not. It just happens to be all at the same um, time. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It's all, so it's much so going much on. so much going on, yeah. I reckon the last time this something like this happened from a show was probably ACDC. <laughs> that long ago, yeah. Shout out to ACDC. Are they still... Are they, uh, any of them still alive? Yeah. <laughs> Saying it's young, still alive? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Someone. I do this all the time. I think people are dead and they're not actually dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to get me in trouble one day. <laughs> maybe we'll just Google it. I don't even have my phone, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, what else? So we've been, I mean, I guess we should talk about Shimada as well, because you've, that's a little friendship management yeah. thing you've got going on there, yeah. and she, she's killing it at the moment. Yeah, she's yeah. such a sweetheart, and just, yeah. like, works so hard for everything she, like, like does, and just deserves every, everything she's got right I'm sure now. you're working hard as well. Yeah, helping her, yeah. supporting her, making sure she's on the right track and everything. Yeah. Got her over to, Jap- to Japan. Sorry? You got her over to Japan? She got herself over yeah. to Japan. Like, she... I probably started managing her um, after she'd sort of, like, planned all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, she did most of the work for that. Yeah. I say. I mean, it's a, that's a big deal as it's well, a, going yeah. there and planning that. It was a pretty extensive tour. Yeah, like a definitely. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, yeah, what else has she done this year? She had released a couple of songs. There's one because yeah. I also... It's a jam. That's an absolute yeah. jam. Um, also, like, and Abby Howard from Adelaide. I'm from Adelaide, so oh, yeah. I, that, that's a bit of that's a bit of represent. Shout out Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, that 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 was a tune. And then I mean, it had like I think when that came out, she had a residency residency yeah. in um, was it the gas or the Ev? I can't remember. Sure. The Ev? The Elf? Maybe. Yeah. 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 yeah Adam. Um, the Ev. Yeah. Yeah crazy turnout yeah yeah we, did you set a lot of that up as well or you part of that um no I kind of joined after that but um so when did you start managing out um probably like somewhere in the middle of all of yeah, that crazy I'm, I'm sure there's no like set day yeah. it just sort of happened a long yeah. time because like I guess thing. like she had all these opportunities and things happening for her and it was mm. just like getting, getting a bit to, ov- yeah. overwhelming um so she was kind of just looking for a manager to sort of help out with all that yeah. So I kind of stepped in, um, I guess, halfway through all that and just sort of helped her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just organising things along the way. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, 
What was they doing? And she got. So she's back now. Is there not anything exciting? Not yet. Back, but um, she'll she'll be back in like October. True. Um, anything exciting s- coming? Yep, she's recording and doing some stuff with Abby Howitt. Nice. Um, so hopefully have quite a few tracks released. Um, soon, sometime like end of the year or something. Um. But yeah, she's. I think she's just wanting to stay in Japan for a couple months. Just like spend time with the family and just chill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, make absolutely. Make some music without the pressure of like deadlines absolutely. and all this other stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, was it even, because it's, you and Margarita sort of do a bit of a thing together as well, don't you? Yeah. yeah. With Otto? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah a lot so of people think it's like OTO. OTO. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm glad you said it first. <laughs> like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Otto means um, sound in Japanese. And the character for Otto in Chinese means sound as well. Um, it's obviously Al's Japanese and I'm Chinese. So yeah. It was just like a nice, nice little It's like a really full this little thing that, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And have you guys done anything exciting for that? Um, well, we're planning um, another event, um, hopefully by the end of the year, but it's all... They're quite curated events as well, hey? They're, yeah. s- they're not so much just like yeah. a few bands on a stage, it's, um, yeah, it's a lot of thought that goes into those things. Yeah, so we don't want to do one too often, just because it does yeah. take a lot of work, and we kind of want it to be like a special yeah, definitely. performance, I guess, rather than just Quality like... over quantity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the last one? I think I might be getting my events confused between like the residency that Earl did and because they they were quite curated as well. But is yeah. it maybe an extension of that? Because I know yeah. they had they had, like themes and yeah. yeah, they were they were super super cool. Is it same sort of philosophy behind yeah. Otto? Yeah, um, I guess we just wanted to like represent um, multi multidisciplinary acts and just yeah. like have instead of just having like um, bands on stage and that. That being it, just kind of making it a full, like, mm. immersive experience. Yeah. It's just, dances. like, visual art and stuff yeah. as well. And yeah. You guys got any cool visual artists that you're um, we'll working, working with? We've been working with a- Isaiah Morris for the last show that we did. Mm-hmm. Um, what does his eye do? His eye? He does... What, what was it called? Like, visual projections? Like, um, yeah, like, live video. Yeah. Cool. I interviewed him last week. True. Yeah. Well, for any like reference points, we always go back and watch that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bit of cross promotion? <laughs> That's like a commercial Channel Nine, Channel yeah, Nine news special. Cut to an yeah. <laughs> um, oh, cool. Um, and then is it just so just visuals and sound at the moment, or like bands and sound yeah. at the moment, or are you thinking thinking anything else? As in for the next event, or yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully, getting some dancers in. Um, uh, what kind of dance? Are we talking ballet? Are we talking crumping? Well, we, uh, the last event Those we two did, together would be sick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I forgot what it's called, but it's sort of like voguing, but Maggie... Voguing? Um, not Explain voguing, please. but with your hands or something. Not I with your hands. What it's That's called. Irish dancing. <laughs> Irish dancing. Yeah. Um, her name's Maggie, and she's like mm-hmm. this amazing dancer. She does improv dance with her hands. Oh, so it's just hands. Just so I was the other way. Like it's a, yeah, yeah, very hand cool. based. Can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's a style of dance similar or originating from Vogue. Okay, like cool. And is that going to be along with the music? Yeah. Depending on who, who we get. It's very much in the works. Mm. I like haven't quite planned. That's cool. Actually, I was at a, was at a show, um, like a talk during the week. Well, it wasn't a talk, it was like a theatre production. It was Omar Musa, actually. Mm-hmm. And it was a it was a Nazarene interpreted performance, and like when he was singing his songs, it was just like it was kind of a hand dance they were doing. It was an ama- it was amazing to watch because yeah. like they were like rapping along with Omar, but like doing doing all the uh, Ozvan signs, and like they were getting so into it. It was it was amazing. Yeah, that would be amazing to see live. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you seen the video of uh, I think there's like a Oz, like an interpreter doing it to like uh, Eminem with like rap god. Oh, I went and watched it. Like my friend told me about it when I told yeah. him. I went and watched it the other day. That that was incredible. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. Maybe get the voguing. Yeah. If the voguing's alongside, this is just how I'm imagining it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, cool, 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 cool. It's, once again, I feel like I think everything you're alluding to is just like bringing stuff in and it's just like creating this community once again in Melbourne, which is yeah. 
Shout out to Melbourne. I've shouted out Adelaide. I haven't shouted yeah. out Melbourne once. <laughs> Melbourne should... Yeah, there's so much crazy talent in Melbourne right now. Yeah. Um, what I say, you're also in the same course as Spencer That's over there and me. You're in second year? First year. First year? Yeah, just started. Green. Yeah? How are you finding it? Yeah, it's been fun. Um, it's been very different to, like, I guess, BCA. Which so have you already completed your thing? Yet? I, I've... What, switch course like halfway mm. through. So I think you did the same, hey Spencer? <laughs> did the old switcheroo from oh, BCA? Or? Yeah, I just did the subjects I was planning to do. Yeah, <laughs> the pick and choose. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's been fun. It's been. Um, what course? What classes are you doing? Um, this semester I'm doing. Uh, business, music business. Yeah. Um, as a studio, and then doing intro to graphic design and popular cinema. I'm doing popular cinema this semester. Yeah, yeah. but I'm doing fir- it's a first year elective thing. Yeah, I'm just doing it because like I just wanted I needed to tick that box for my my contextual thing. Ooh. Yeah, Wait, maybe I'll see you in a class. Did you watch um? What did you watch last week? Fast. 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 How, how sick was the trailer for that? Um, awful. Faster, faster, pussy, faster, pussy, cat, kill, yeah. kill. Yeah. Oh, they're like uh, so. These are like exploitation B movies. Yeah. Apparently, Australia is really good at them. Um, like uh, Quentin Tarantino loves like bases like a lot of his stuff on it. Yeah. Uh, what did he say the other day? It was something about like we got shown a video in class, and it's him saying that no one in Australia can shoot a car chase or a car, like, um, just like a car shot like Australians, because like we just have this weird fascination with cars. Yeah. And he said it makes him want to jerk off. <laughs> It's yeah. great to know. <laughs> just, just an image of Quentin Tarantino jerking off on a Saturday morning. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's a cool class. I'm actually really enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, oh, this is sorry. We're gonna get even seedier. It's just because this is yeah. something my, my my teacher brought up the other day as well. Is that apparently it's like oh they they show these movies in Melbourne either like um at the Club X cinemas on like Swanston Street and stuff. Right. And like so you can go in there and watch like all these like B grade exploitation movies but like it's got and that's like where they used to show them like 50 years ago and yeah. it's kind of intrigued me like I've never been in but I kind of like want to be yeah. like <laughs> I reckon that would be a really weird experience <laughs> yeah I wonder what the soundtracks would be like in those things that was the one thing that annoyed me watching Kill Pussycat or Faster Pussycat the Kill Kill it was this it was so because like the quality was so poor it was just yelling at you the whole time mm. like tinny and abrasive and yeah. I couldn't do it Sorry, I've been sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, oh, you've got so you've got a couple of years to go then. Yeah. Of your course. Yeah. Do you, do you know? Are you so you're mainly doing the music business stuff? Is that because of the management stuff you're doing at the moment? And yeah. Yeah. Who runs the business class? Can't remember his name. Um, I think his I name's Bill. I don't even think I know anyone that did the business track in it's very, music it's industry. It's very dry subject. But I did yeah. the Ableton studio last semester. Is that with Jane? Yeah. No. With um Jane. I, I, Shouts Jane. Yeah, he's awesome. Love you, Jane. I did the DJ elective with Jane. Yeah. And then... So bad with names. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I can't Same. remember. But it, yeah, I did the Ableton studio with someone else. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You got years to look forward to. <laughs> yeah. Got any tips for the coming years? Tips. Um, just get your stuff done early. I'm mm. just learn off my mistakes. Yeah, um, yeah. that'd be hard. Yeah, it's it's hard sometimes balancing everything else that you got going on and like, yeah. trying to prioritize it, I guess. But um, no, it's de- it's definitely worth it. If if not for anything else, other than just meeting all the cool cats in the class that are. Everyone's yeah. doing some pretty cool stuff around yeah. Melbourne, so... Yeah, I find it really hard to motivate myself to go to class when there's no yeah. attendance. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of just get away with doing assignments. I definitely then, found this. I was, yeah. like, recently studying overseas for a little bit, and it was the complete opposite. It was, like, yeah. it was readings every day, and you had to go to class, otherwise, like, yeah. you won't pass. And like, I, it took a while to get used to, to be honest. I felt like I was in high school again. Like, you knock yeah. up to class, you sit down. And yeah. <laughs> but, um... I also think that's the beauty of doing doing an arts based degree like music yeah. industry. You can sort of just like float in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you know? So, do you think the music industry degree will help you 
help you with your management stuff or do you feel like it's sort of just kind of complements it as you, um, as you I guess on? it's just like things like the business studio I could learn on my own but it's quite hard to motivate yourself to like learn about tax and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of nice just to have the degree kind of guide you in the right direction yeah definitely and just like give you this information that you might not otherwise mm. have like I'm finding that so we're at the class we're doing at the moment that teaches us about grant writing, yeah. which I have like I've known about, but I didn't realize how important like it is such an important part mm. of like I don't think you people realize how much like government money is basically funding a lot of this stuff, yeah. and it's not to say that it takes it's not yeah. taking away from the scene at all. It's just I think it's just a sign of how supportive Melbourne is for the creative yeah. creative industry and. Yeah, it's not the most exciting thing, but yeah. like it's definitely it's, a very it's thing. super super important, yeah. and um, yeah, it gives people amazing opportunities to probably go do stuff like to Japan, and yeah. that's basically it. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? I think I haven't, I haven't really. I mean, I think your probably main passion is playing the saxophone. I don't feel like we've talked about it that much at all. I guess yeah, that's sort of where I started off, and then. Um, I guess because I studied music performance for so long, yeah. I kind of wanted to explore the rest of the industry and see yeah. what, um, everything else is like, I guess. And so I've just sort of been, with like all my little projects and like management things, it's sort of just been like an exploration just to sort of figure out what I really like or what I really want to do or what yeah. I'm good at or what I'm not so good at. So. Yeah, definitely. And it's just kind of really fun just to... And music's the constant. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Good old music. Gotta love music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really nice. Yeah. You've, um, so you've brought along a few little items. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, Ask for a few yeah. little... Just a few little knickknacks that you might have been laying around the house or... And to be fair, I, I asked... I did ask Yang to go super weird and... Has delivered. I'll start with the not so weird one. Yeah, okay, I, it's got a nice story, the, the, the not so weird one. Okay. It's, it's kind of wholesome. I guess so. So, what do you um, got? So, I found this, um, I guess, concert ticket from a. Yeah, random should, we get a should we get a little zoom in on it? Yeah, go on. Random, <laughs> to be um, fair, you can't even read it, like, just yeah. looking at it anyway. It's a bit faded. I've been trying to figure it out for ages. And I know that it's in it's Melbourne. Just, it's orange. Um, do we know what year concert? it is? No, that's what I've been trying to figure out, but it was on Sunday, 23rd of May. So if you can figure out what year, 23rd of May was Sunday. So we're almost going to have to reverse engineer this ticket to see who was playing. Yes. And then... Let's see. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. It could be at Melbourne Cider Centre. Let me have a look. But yeah. It's sweet something. Mm. Sweet something international. I mean, just based on how faded it is, or the fact that the person actually decided to keep it in their book as like a little memento, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm sure it was a great concert. Yeah. I just had stalls back then as well, that's quite old fashioned. Yes. So I can imagine it being quite old. What was the book? Oh, I can't remember. It would have been ages in. So you just kept it as a little memento. Was it your bookmark yeah. for a while? Yeah. True. Yeah, this is and this is uh, my mode. I'm actually gonna have to come closer to the camera for this because <laughs> there's no way you're gonna be able to zoom in on it because it's so tiny. Do you want to describe what it is first before you look at it, or should we get um, a look at it? We should just get a look you at it. You can't zoom in on that. No, 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 you can, mate. You can. What quality? Okay, I'm just gonna. I'll present it then. It's a wig out. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> Don't worry if you don't think you can see the facial features, because there are none. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got a potato head. <laughs> Faceless baby, like... Do you think the facelessness of it has, like, a message? I don't know. Do you and think I it's, like, a thing about identity or something? Yeah, maybe. You just have no identity when you're born. Yeah. Oh, God, that's deep for a Saturday morning. Yeah. Where'd you find that? Um... I don't remember, but I just remember it p- appearing one night when I was out, and I was like, I have to pocket you that. You found it while you were out? Yeah. Ooh. I was like, I have to pocket that. I don't know. Do you remember where? No, uh, not a venue, or... I think if I found that out, and I was sort of in a bit of a state, I, I think know. that would that would make my night. Yeah. 
You can scare people with that. That's entertainment for weeks, that thing. Looks like it's got a pretty full diaper as well. Yeah. <laughs> Someone sort that out. Where's mum? I just wonder, like, who made it and why. Or if, mm. if it has like a little family of yeah. faceless. It's not exactly like a Macca's toy, is it? No, no. It's, it's quite a bit detailed. of a choking hazard. Yeah. The irony of that, because it is a baby. It is. Not suitable for children under three. There we go. <laughs> Can be the little uh, coffee band mascot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just every gig, just pop it up. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he's happy. He's clapping along. He's got his arms yeah. wide out. Your number one yeah, fan. I've never really studied him. Now that no, I, I, I want to go. I want to go down. Go down the vortex yeah. on him. Do you think he had like? Do you think he has missing? Maybe he's sad. He's missing his family. He's missing his siblings. I know. Maybe that's why his hands are right. crying out. It's where? Yeah. Oof. It's getting deep. It's getting a bit. It's getting a bit heated. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of what I brought in, which was a bit like ad hoc. But my thing's got a huge head. Yeah. In fact, the whole premise of it is its head. It's um, a bit of a homage to a TV show I've watched way too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Office. The old Dwight Schrute bobblehead. He sits there while I, while I study and <laughs> procrastinate at my, at my table. Just nodding along. He agrees with everything I, everything I say, though, which is the Can best. Can he not agree? I know you wouldn't dare. <laughs> mm. Bobbleheads are a strange thing as well. I used to have one in my car, but I actually had to take it out. It was too distracting. Just oh, on the really? dashboard, yeah. wonder what the history is between those. Did the, the first ever bobblehead. Yeah. Well, like, why they were created. I don't know. I couldn't even begin to think. Yeah. It is a bizarre concept for someone to be sitting there one day and be like, I really wish this thing's head could just, like, Would just be a bit bigger. Mm. Just bobble it. Just a wobble and bubble. Have you got anything else on for this weekend? Anything exciting? Anything to plug? Anything? Anything to just shout out? Any any fam that you're seeing that just need a bit of a bit of a shout out? My mom. This is a banging orange. Shout yeah. out, mom. Thank thank my mom, my dad, <laughs> my brother, my sister. Um, yeah, <laughs> just working. It's like you're the number one draft pick. Yeah. <laughs> it's a banging orange. Good one. Have you tried any of the Turkish coffee as well? Margarita's delicious Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee. It is actually looks a little bit like mud water, but it's um it's textured. Pouring from the cauldron. It's actually a bit cold now to be fair, I think that's a little bit warm. It's very strong. Needs to be on a Saturday. Yeah. I have like half a coffee and I get shaky and anxious. Oh, really? So. This is my first of the morning, so. I I get it insane, but like. I'm steady for now. I'm steady for now. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think. I feel like I've. I I sort of glazed over a lot of the. um, Oshmada stuff as well. Just because she does have. So much going on. There was, um. Was it recently that I saw? Was it with um? Was it a kick with the Odyssey? Oh, uh, I think she did one a while ago. Was that not this year? Not my end of last year. End of last year. I think. True. I think I remember seeing something about that. I mean, Odyssey. I mean, he's he's one of my favourite all time games. He's he's an absolute legend. But um, yeah, I just, I just find it so fascinating that, and once again, I think you alluded to it before with it when you were talking about like having eclectic bills and different, pushing different stuff back, um, like Elvis, she can play on a bill with a bit of jazz in the afternoon and then go into say like something with Kiara Kick Drum or yeah. Jennifer Loveless, I think that's a good coming off soon, yeah. which is like thumping, like that's techno. like techno, yeah. we, and she can just sit somewhere in the middle and just like blend it all together. Yeah. And she really like works her set to the crowd, mm-hmm. like um, I'm pretty sure a band played a gig for Melbourne Jazz Fest to like just a crowd of kids and like they That's they amazing. obviously like lined up the set and yeah. they just like the kids enjoyed it so much like um how old I, I the remember kids probably like eight or nine around that age amazing um 
Wu Tang's not for the kids. El Shamad is for <laughs> yeah. the kids. Yeah. For all ages. She's yeah. all ages. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, do you think coffee <laughs> could do that as well? Could maybe play just not an all ages show, just a young ages show. Yeah. I, I think that's an un, an untapped market a little bit. Yeah, start start aiming towards the little kids. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the kids will be welcome to like the retreat and stuff as well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, uh, super sticky uh, wooden dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd ever get off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know it's something. It's coming into summer as well, and if everyone's back, you're probably gonna be having a pretty a pretty busy summer. Absolutely. You guys are like, are you, have you like been booked in for like any festivals or anything? Or? Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say. Ooh, yet. that's a bit juicy. I, I think won't push that button. <laughs> the lineup will be released soon. So. so there is stuff coming though. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think definitely try to get on the summer festival train. Yeah, maybe. definitely. I think that's pretty necessary in Australia, yeah. isn't it? Sort yeah. of. People hibernate a bit for winter and like all the all the heads go out, but it's when it, yeah. when summer comes around, you sort of just gotta be in amongst it. Hey, yeah. Is it uh early summer, late summer? Early summer. Early summer. <laughs> yeah. Early summer is my favourite time of summer. Yeah. Springtime. Springtime. The crossover between spring and summer not too hot. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, it kind of feels like springtime at the moment here. The sun's coming yeah, in. Yeah, it's actually. Really I feel like we've caught a really nice light in this little. It's bit, I'm sort of. A, it's like I'm lounging, getting lower and lower in the chair as I, as I go. I <laughs> also think I definitely did score the uh, comfier couch. The comfier. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I need to. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, nice. Um, I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty good. Yeah. I think we've covered a lot of bases today. Yeah. It's been a nice chat. It's been a nice morning. Yeah. Coffee, a bit of vitamin C. <laughs> I haven't had a cigarette this morning, which I've tried not to do. I've, I've done pretty sure well. there's it's plenty in there. there yeah. A, it's been sort of inviting me in. Yeah. <laughs> and watching Spencer have a ciggy over there, mm-hmm. looking so yeah, content. <laughs> You're looking quite nice in that corner, surrounded by your plants as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very wholesome and kitschy. Director's chair. <laughs> and the director's hat. Yeah. Not quite as seedy as Quentin Tarantino, though. No. <laughs> um, yeah, nice. And, I mean, just pull one little, one last little. Good Show off the mascot. Yeah. The new 56k mascot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to make a big, I reckon. going to make a splash. Yeah. What instrument do you reckon you play? All of them. All of the multi instrumentalists. Yeah, definitely. The Don. <laughs> <laughs> Just a one man band. Yeah. yeah. If you see him busking soon in the street, drop a dime, have a chat with him. He needs it. He's, I think he's homeless yeah. at the moment, to be honest. So. Yeah. Yeah. He needs some clothes, you know. He thinks so. <laughs> Any thoughts? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have a mouth, so it's actually quite hard for yeah. him to, hard for him to vocalise. He must have a lot of internal monologue going on. Yeah. Poor bloke. Oh, they're there. <laughs> um, it's been great chatting to you, Yang. There's, there's a lot going on. I think there's a lot more to come as well, so it's yeah, super, hopefully. super exciting. Yeah. Um, stay peeled, everybody. Cool. 56k. <laughs> <laughs> this is cheese. This is how you finish your gig, gig for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we high five? Yeah. And then pause. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get a steal of that? <laughs> Are we off? Oh